Good morning, January 12th, 2010. This is the video you've all been waiting for. All you mechanically minded guys out there buying your factory built stoves, I know you're tinkering with them just like I am. This is an Elm. I'm not going to tell you everything about this stove. I'm going to let you just take a look at the video and try to figure out for yourself what's going on. But, uh, my man Nate installed some lights last week so that we can actually see the stove. And I'm going to pop the door open. Got a pretty blazing fire going on here. Those of you who know what secondary air tubes are can see that there are three of them in this stove. And we have a raging fire. I have never seen more flames coming from secondary air tubes. The draft is wide open. The stove's been going for a couple of hours and uh, has some good dry hardwood in there. And when you close it down, I hope YouTube does me a favor and is broadcasting a very high resolution picture because those flames are dramatic. Okay, one thing why I, I, this this is not a secret at all. This is a makeup air four inch diameter piece of flexible aluminum aluminum which comes from outside in the shed. It's cold air right oh, 12 inches or so from the draft on the stove. This little tube down here is a secondary air intake for the center tube. These are one inch holes both sides of the front. They actually uh, go all the way through the stove front and rear and they are sucking well I lost my matches I could light a match and show you that they're sucking air from both the front and the rear. When the fire wants air, it wants air. We'll get it started up again here. Another set of tubes. This stove is all about tubes these days. The barrel of the stove is essentially a large tube there's a network of uh, look like tubes on an organ on the side here which are open on the top and the bottom and when I take this little heat gun I can show you that the temperature at the top of the tube is uh, 164 temperature at the bottom of it is in the upper 400s so what they do is they suck in cooler air, I won't call it cold air, but cooler air at the bottom and it exits out the top much warmer and circulates air throughout the room, much like the principle of the free flow stove, which I'm an ardent admirer of the free flow. Now I can take this heat gun and take a measurement inside this tube and that's in the 500s. The skin temperature of the barrel on the side, upper 700s, right here at the top of the barrel, also in the 700s. The stove is not what I'd call hot yet. It's about 4 something on this top griddle, 5 something. But it's on its way to getting hot. And what we like about these tubes being on the side of the stove, right at the corner where the baffle meets the barrel, the barrel tends to get very hot. The idea is to get the stove to absorb the heat from the fire and radiate it into the room as opposed to letting it go straight up the chimney. So I'm going to cut this video off now since we've adequately demonstrated the dramatic nature of all these flames, secondary air flames inside.
So there's something to do on a rainy weekend or snowy weekend. Get out your tools, get out some stainless tubing, and have at it. Hack up your stove and see if you can do something this good. Good luck, guys. Thanks.